Good morning, everybody. We are um, having a bit of an easy morning this morning for reasons I discussed yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, I posted it yesterday. I think I felt, well, I feel like... I have I I didn't move to Germany and I didn't learn how to um have such a thick skin and I didn't I didn't learn um I, I didn't go through all these life things that that I've been through just to have Goliath basically push me around and and decide things for me. And I think that was what I was most upset about was that the, first of all, that something was done to my channel that I had nothing to do with. That that was, first of all, so Mommy, angering. Uncle. Yeah, it's a little case for your car. Uh oh. You can open it. Uh oh. But then I think what, what just got to me was just that. It was a situation where uh -oh. not only were things determined for me for something I didn't even do that I wasn't even responsible for, but I, I'm, I'm going up against this giant and it just felt so, yeah. it felt so heavy and it felt so big and it just felt so, uh -oh. so intimidating in a sense. I, I am of the opinion that this this door was meant to close for a reason no one can determine my future no matter how big or strong or powerful or scary and intimidating this this giant may be and i i didn't go through all this to um to just back down and and let a train roll over me i i didn't no that's not my personality that's not who i am that's not how i was raised and I, I, at the end of this, want this to be something that my kids are proud of, that my kids are, um, that my kids can look at someday and, and take something from. But maybe my kids need to see this. Maybe my kids need to see what struggle looks like and what overcoming that looks like and what defeat feels like and, and being able to, to come back from that, what that feels like. And... I, I just, I don't think that I would be a good mom to them or teaching them the things that I want them to, to learn if I just laid down and gave up. I'm, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not sad about it or that I'm not angry about it. I'm very much so still grieving what happened and I'm still very confused and very angry at the lack of information, the lack of proof. I'm very angry that... Um, I'm, I'm still very angry and I'm still very, very, very sad. So don't, don't let this fool you that I'm, that I'm totally okay with it. I'm not, but I have to come back from it and I have to, I have to pick myself up and determine what to do. I was not a very good mom yesterday. I spent a lot of the day crying and today all I really want to do is just spend time with my son and love on him and get as many Callum Snuggles as I can possibly get and um, just pick up our lives.
This is the face that Callum makes when we offer him something that he doesn't want. For dinner tonight, I made shepherd's pie. Roman's piece actually looks the best. Decent. <laughs> yeah. It's in its whole piece. And we have salad and um, some bread. You know what I saw on the other vlog? Huh? I was like laying like that. <laughs> it looks like I have a huge belly. <laughs> but if it, just to show you, it's not. <laughs> you feeling self-conscious? I was like, wow, that's not me. It's like, <laughs> it's like that. I mean, it looks really bad. <laughs> Just pointing out that I'm not as big as I look like on the video. I love you no matter what size you are. You better. <laughs> Callum does not like his meal. It's got meat in it. He doesn't like mashed potatoes, it seems, and he does not like meat. So this is totally the wrong meal for him, so he's picking out the zucchini and eating bread. Roman has all of next week off for work. He took Mardi Gras week off. <laughs> yeah. It's most importantly, it's Callum's birthday Those week. Some beats. Yeah, but it's Callum's birthday week next week, and um, Roman had extra extra days off that he needed to take, Callum so he took off for Callum's birthday week, which will be really nice. We have some fun plans for next week. Yeah. We all need it. <laughs> Hey. <sighs> he throws beads, but you know what? I taught him that, so I can't yeah. really be mad. <laughs> That's part of his New Orleans culture to throw beads. So. Did you just say throw the baby? <laughs> I want to say throw the beads at the baby, but it's like, no, don't throw it. <laughs> so I didn't finish my sentence and it sounded. Worse than a, <laughs> it sounded than I like because you said throw the baby, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Let's not practice that. Oh, I checked our our statistics on the channel, and what is so confusing is that the highest clicks are in the category unknown region. So I don't know what it what it means because my understanding always was that. Every electronic device has a IP address that can be tracked to a, to a uh, country. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what it, what it is. Maybe that's hackers. Who knows? Cause, because you have, we have specifically Germany and the States, and all of these ad clicks are coming from unknown, re unknown region. Oh, unknown country, something like that. Yeah. That's just horrible. I think, like I said, the part that's just so frustrating is just that there's no one that is willing to help. And I'm sure that if we were a big channel with lots of subscribers and lots of views and we were really generating a lot of money for Google, then somebody would help us. But, um, like I said, we're just a small, a small channel that's unfortunately been... Oh. We've been hacked. Yesterday was definitely worse than today, but it's just, it's really, it's just hard. It's very hard for me to, to deal with this just because of how much, how much the channel means to me. We have some exciting news. Roman sent his thesis today off to the printer. <laughs> you feel happy? Yeah, I, I will be happy when uh, when I turn it in. Yeah, that will be next week. But so I don't know what to do with all of your free time at night. Yeah, I have to find a new online class that I can take it. No, no, you can invest in your marriage, invest in your family. It's already perfect. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on. Well, I'm really proud of you. 
we'll have to celebrate on Monday. That's going to be such a big, exciting moment for you. And I'm going to vlog it when you're handing over your paper. Are you so excited? Hmm. I'm so proud of you. I can't believe it's like over. I know. Yeah. I mean, think about it. You've been working for this MBA for over two years now. Let's see, when did you start? Your first semester was... October 2013. Yeah. Yep. So it's been two and a half years. And you had, you had two years of classes and then basically six, seven months or whatever for your mm -hmm. thesis. Mommy. Mommy is here. Hi, Mommy. Uh-oh. Hast du da eine Chance? I think... Oh, he said it's stuck. Yeah. I think when he's in trouble or when something happens, his go-to person is mommy. Because he always says, when I, I'll be in the kitchen cutting an apple or something for him or getting dinner started, and he'll, he'll get a car stuck or something, and he'll be mad because he'll, he'll throw it underneath the chair or he'll roll it underneath the chair, <laughs> and he can't get it because he just he physically can't get to it. And all he hears, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Hey Callum, should we go ahead and end the vlog? Thanks for choosing. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to tomorrow being even better. It's Friday. Roman has, he's off of work starting next week. So tomorrow's his last work day for a little bit. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Just with everything that's been going on, I'm, I'm so excited to have him home. It's just always better when we're together. So... Thank you guys so much for, for watching and thank you so much, as always, for your love and support. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!